it's me, Nisi J. Today I'm coming to you with is me Nisi J. Today I want to come to you with some skincare mistakes and tips to help us look younger. If you are interested in this video, then you stay tuned. When I was younger, um, some, some of the skincare things that I'm doing now, um, I didn't do when I was younger and I wish I would have known. But the first tip that I want to actually give is the misconception you know of a lot of women that we don't really need sunscreen but tip number one wear your sunscreen whether it is cloudy sunny cloudy rainy wear sunscreen wearing sunscreen really helps with hyperpigmentation with age spots it helps with the it helps keep your skin you know looking young because the sun is damaging and sunscreen protects your skin i wish i would have known that years ago if you are younger if you're in your 20s if you're watching this please wear sunscreen it will help you it will benefit you in the long run okay so that's tip just number one okay that we actually do we use face creams and eye creams and things like that which is great and good for your skin but try to avoid using toners and face creams and moisturizer that contains alcohol especially if you see alcohol in the first half of the ingredients like maybe the first five words six words you see alcohol in it yeah avoid that I'm not talking about the act the fatty alcohols okay the, some of the fatty alcohols are actually good for your skin I'm gonna put it listed down here you'll see the alcohols that I am referring to um, the acid one, one would just say alcohol the SD alcohol called denat do not alcohol yeah that's not good too and isopropyl alcohol those are the alcohols that you want to look for and stay away from because okay when you apply them it dries you it dries really fast and it pulls your skin it makes it appear it's making my skin tight and it's lifting but in the long run it's really not good for your skin it dries out your skin it, it ages you faster um, so you just try to look for it because I'm really conscious of looking at products and making sure that it doesn't have those alcohols in it okay especially with me I have dry skin so I'm always trying to find products that do not have alcohol in it three now you know I'm always 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 focusing on exfoliating but this is what I haven't told you and my apologies yes you want to I'm all for exfoliating but you don't want to over exfoliate see and you can over exfoliate your face I'm talking maybe one time maybe twice a week if you see that your skin is really getting dry and red and irritated and you if you have sensitive skin then you may want to do exfoliation one time a week twice a month maybe you know yes exfoliate your skin but do not over exfoliate it over exfoliating it is really not good for your skin at all okay because it can actually what am i looking for it can actually break down your skin's barrier okay if you over over exfoliate and you can actually it, tear your skin up by doing that so you don't want to do that I'm actually looking for because I hear so many good things about chemical exfoliations so I'm looking for a really good chemical exfoliations where I can actually apply I think they come in mass and they actually exfoliate gently and really just remove everything without actually going in and scrubbing I'm looking for a good one I'm gonna find one with um what is it called? Sally, salicylic acid, salicylic acid, something. I'm gonna put it up here because I'm not good with pronouncing some of these words. <laughs> salicylic acid, something like that. Those are the acids that really help 
um, exfoliate your skin. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking for some items and products. I've really been doing a lot of research. So if I find a good chemical exfoliant, I would definitely bring it to you and let you know, okay? So yes, tip number three, exfoliate, but do not over exfoliate, okay? Um, the one thing that I, ha I have to remind myself with because I'm very heavy handed is to be gentle with your skin. You know, sometimes I'm looking at these YouTubers, these younger YouTubers, and they're just really hard with their skin. They're taking off makeup. I mean, they're just take it off that eye, just rub it off really hard. And I'm like, wow, you really need to be gentle, especially in this area. This is one of the most sensitive areas ever. And just in your skin in general, I have to remind myself that too, because I am really, I just go in, you know, sometimes and I have to, I have to say, hey, wait a minute, stop, slow down, really take time with your skin, okay? Because you don't want to be moving and pulling and tugging, you know, you know, it can cause wrinkles, especially at our age, well, my age, I'm 48, okay? It can really cause wrinkles and just damage your skin. So just, that's what I'm learning also. I have to tell myself, be gentle with your skin, especially when you get in a hurry, in a hurry, just trying to get this makeup off and settle down for the night and, you know, do your remedy that you usually do, your, your uh, regimen, your routine. Just take your time and just be gentle with your skin, okay? Notice this is tip number five that a lot of people do not do um, is apply, take care of your, well, take care of your lips, I'll say. The skin on your lips. I really, I like to moisturize. I like to exfoliate. As I'm exfoliating my face, now remember, do not do not over exfoliate. <laughs> I like to exfoliate my lips as well. Your lips right around here, it will show fine lines and aging and everything else, just like the rest of your face. So you want to really take a gentle and just exfoliate, moisturize. Whatever skincare that I apply on my skin, I do apply it on my lips too. And I'm always using a, um, what is it, chapstick, Vaseline, something, I'm all, I keep that all the time because I moisturize my lips as well. Even at night before I go to bed, I always coat it with a um, chapstick or Vaseline or cocoa butter or something to actually moisturize my lips. That keeps my lips moisture, moisturized as well. And it makes for easy application when applying your lipsticks. So yeah, that's what I actually do. A lot of people say, how do you, how does your, um, your matte lipstick stay on and it doesn't look creasy? I really take care of my lips too. That's part of my regimen. So that's it for today. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, if you like these type of videos, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. For my new subscribers, I see that I have some welcome. You are now part of the NCJ family. For my oldies and goodies, and you know who you are, thank you so very much for tuning in. Each and every time I upload a video, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You really don't know how much I really, really appreciate you guys. So anyway, thank you so much. Peace and love until next time. Mwah. Bye.